tutorial is on how to create a Facebook page. Before we begin, you will need to have your own personal Facebook account. Once you have that set up, go ahead and log in and you'll see a toolbar across the top of the page. On the far right side, you'll see an arrow. Click on the arrow and you'll see Create Page in the drop down menu. Click Create Page. The first thing you'll see is six categories to choose from. Choose whatever fits your page the best. Because I'm going to create a page today for my daughter's LPS videos and accessories and furniture and things that she creates, I'm going to choose artist, band, or public figure. Now the first thing you'll have is a drop down menu that will let you choose a subcategory I'm going to go ahead and choose artist again and now you get to enter a name. I'm going to enter her um, pen name and then click get started and the page will reload and ask us a few questions. First, it's going to ask us to tell a little bit about our page. This is just going to be a few little sentences um, that tell a little bit about what the page is about. Um, I'm just going to put Okay, when you're done, um, you can also put on a website's address here. Click Save Info. Now you can upload a profile picture or import one from a website. I have something saved on the computer, so I'm going to upload. It's going to let me search my computer to find the file. And I'm going to choose a photo and click Open and the computer is going to upload the file and then I'll click next now it wants to know if I want to add this page to my favorites which is that sidebar menu that you always see on your left side when you log in of course I want to do that so I can find it easily now it's going to ask a few questions about your audience. This is most helpful if you have a business page um, and you're going to be marketing a certain area. Um, I don't really want to put anything in here right now. I'm going to go ahead and change the ages and put women and put for interests. I can spell little list. Here we go, Little Pet Shop. Perfect. We'll add that. That's good. Click Save. <coughs> and here we have the front page of our Facebook. First thing we're going to look at is the settings. There's a few things we're going to focus on here. There's a lot of privacy, restrictions, notification, visitor posts, who can send you messages, tagging ability. There's a lot of personal preferences you're going to want to set in here. You're also going to want to look at notifications. Turn on or off different notifications um, for different activities and how you'd like to receive those notifications. And your page roles this is going to be who the admins are for the site. Um, right now, you're going to be the only person, but you can add someone in. So I'm going to add, just type in their name, type in my password, and now I have added a second admin.
Now we can customize our page. The first thing you might want to do is add a cover. You'll see add a cover right here and a little picture of a camera. If you click on this, you can upload a photo from the computer. Let's see, I've got something right here that will work. Click open and it is going to upload the photo. Now it's going to let you drag the photo around and position it. Looks good. Click save. We have a cover photo. It keeps popping up these little suggestions. Okay, now if we go to the about page, this is where we can add some details about the site. Um, for example, we can put a start date in here. I'm not going to go through all of these, I'll just do a few. Um, bio, that's a very important one. Um, your email address, if you want people to be able to contact you, your website, and last but not least, just in case any of you watching are not familiar with Facebook, I'd like to show you how to make your very first post. So what I'd like to do is share some photos of some handmade trees that Bella made for her sets. So first I'm going to type in handmade trees for an outdoor set. Now you'll see these icons down here. Um, this first one with the camera, if you click on this, it'll let you look for photos on your computer. And if you hold the control button down, you can click multiple photos at the same time. Click open. Now it's going to automatically import all those photos into the post. When I'm happy with the post and finished, I can click publish. And there's our first post. I hope you enjoy your Facebook page. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you very much.